Experimental train movement has started on Mawabhanga railway high up on the bridge. Eggs, onions and potatoes are being sold at higher prices than the government fixed prices in the market. Having lost everything in the fire, traders are still wandering around Mohammadpur's agricultural market. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Farhani Yasmin with the news and today watching headlines. Now, the details. Experimental train movement has started on Mawabhanga Railway via Port the Bridge at 7:30 a.m. The fast train started its journey from Bhanga Railway Station in Foripu to Mawa Station in Munshigonch and reached Maya Mawa at 9:06 a.m. The speed limit of this experimental train was 60 km per hour. Later at 9:30 a.m., the experimental train again left from Mawa Railway Station from Foripur. At that time, the speed limit of the train was fixed at 80 km per hour. Then at 10.40 am, the train will leave from Bhanga to Mawa again. The speed limit at that time is 100 km per hour. This experimental train is being run as a final preparation for rail traffic on the Dhaka Bhanga section of the Pod Bridge Rail Link project. Eggs, onion and potatoes are being sold at higher prices than the government fixed prices in the markets of the capital. Consumers say the situation is due to syndicates and the traders say that they have to sell these products due to the low import and to match the investment. However, the Consumer Protection Department continues to monitor. A number of cases have also been filed based on the consumer complaints under the Prevention of Market Manipulation Act 2012. Commerce Minister Tipu Munshi commented that the prices of three agricultural products including onion, potato and egg are being strictly monitored. He said that the ministry is taking a strict stance on the market syndicate on the instructions of the Prime Minister and consumer rights are working despite the shortage of manpower. He said these things to the reporters when he came from Dhaka to his residence on Central Road in the Rangpur city in the morning. Commerce Minister also said that everyone is trying to control the market. Having lost everything in the fire, traders are still wandering around the capital's Mohammadpur agricultural market. The day after the terrible fire, he is standing in front of the ashes of his favorite business company, which he has built up. Businessmen claim that the fire caused a loss of at least 300 crore rupees. Now the demand to be rehabilitated as soon as possible. The fire services formed a fire member investigation committee in this incident. The committee has been asked to submit its report within 15 working days. BNP Secretary General Major Fokul Samalamir commented that the fire election cannot be held under Awam Malik. He said that the government will be forced to hold election under a non party government and a new EC with the resignation of the government. He said these things at a press conference at the party's central office in Noyapolton at noon. Besides, the BNP Secretary General also said that the series of new programs of the one party movement will be announced on September 18. On the way to withdraw money from a bank in Ashulia for people of the gang were arrested red-handed with the help of police after snatching Taka for luck in the identity of DB police. The incident took place in front of the new EPG of the Nobinogor Chand in Mashadakar Ashulia on Thursday. Meanwhile, a private car with a jacket and handcuffs written by a DB police was recovered from them. Viewers now international news.
Cyclone Danielle has turned Libya into a city of death. About 10,000 residents are still missing. The city of Derna on the Mediterranean coast was completely destroyed. The two dams broke and created a tsunami-like situation. A large part of the city was swept away by the strong current. More than 11,000 bodies were recovered from the disaster. The administration fears that the number may exceed 20,000. The rescue workers fear that all the missing people have been washed out in the sea. The chances of the getting their bodies are slim. The administration fears that the next challenge in the affected areas will be to deal with the waterborne infectious diseases. The country. It's been Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is going to the United States to attend the United Nations General Assembly session. He is likely to visit the North American country next week and will meet U.S. President Joe Biden at that time. According to media reports, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky will meet U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House next week. Both leaders are scheduled to attend the U.N. General Assembly session in New York later that week, according to during his stay in the United States, Vladimir Zelensky will also visit the country's symbol of democracy, Capitol Hill. U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, has been charged in a firearms case. The prosecutor charged him Thursday in Delaware Federal Court with three counts of possession of a firearm while intoxicated. Hunter is accused of making a false statement about drug use when purchasing a firearm in October 2018. At that time, he admitted that he was trying to recover from an addiction to cocaine. Earlier, U.S. Attorney General Mary Garland appointed lawyer David Weiss as a special counsel last month to investigate the allegation against Hunter Biden. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. Experimental train movement has started on Mawa Bhanga Railway by above the bridge. Eggs, onions and potatoes are being sold at high prices than the government fixed prices in the market. Having lost everything in the fire, traders are still wandering around Muhammadpur's agricultural market. Cyclone Daniel has turned Bolivia into a city of death. More than 11,000 bodies were recovered. Bangladesh is facing India in the Super 4 match of the Asia Cup in Colombo. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News online, visit YouTube slash MyTV BD News. To watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast 7.30 pm. Stay connected on all our first.